Hi there, this is Rocky Rocks on Van Brimmer, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about Lifeline of Ohio's Dash for Donation and uh, Nate Riggs, who's running on the Loop team, uh, trying to get the word out about donation and uh, of organs and tissues. And uh, he asked me to give him a to, to help him out, but what he didn't realize when he asked me was, I'm intimately per. I have intimate knowledge of what it's like to have to, to, to go through the process of, of organ donation um, as, as a, someone who has to uh, make a decision to, note, to donate. Um, it was 19, I'm 36 years old today, and I, it was 1993. I was 19 years old. And uh, I was a very irresponsible 19-year-old. I don't know who was, and, uh, you know, making decisions like uh, most 19 year olds are making decisions what class to take do I blow this class off should I join the military I myself just came back from touring the United States with Dutch Boy Drum and Bugle Corps uh, as far north as Montreal as far west as Mississippi south of Alabama and all up and down the eastern seaboard and I've been home for probably about a month and a half and my father was 37 years old uh, he was young when he had me and uh, he died unexpectedly, um, very tragic too. His wife passed 24 hours before he did. And uh, I had a 17-year-old sister. My parents were not married. My mom was not married to my dad at the time. Um, I had two aunts and uncle and his brothers and sister, or his brother and sisters and uh, his mom and dad. And when he passed, we were at OSU Medical Center. And at 19 years old, I was the legal next of kin, and I was charged with the biggest decision of my life that I don't think any 19-year-old, anybody should have to, to make. I had to choose whether or not to donate my dad's organs. And there was mixed opinions. When my parents were married, and, and my mom, her, her advice to me was to do it. And she based it off of when, when they were married. He had a childhood friend, who, uh, Lonnie, and uh, Lonnie received multiple organs. And my dad just marveled that he was able to live as long as he did because of those organ donations and experience life. Now, there are some things he couldn't do, of course, but uh, he lived a pretty fruitful life. And my dad thought that was cool that his friend was able to live. One of my aunts didn't want me to donate. Another one didn't have an opinion. I don't recall my uncle having an opinion, and I don't recall what my grandparents' opinion were. I just remember being in tears. <sighs> I need somebody to make the decision for me. Because my dad and I, we didn't talk about organ donation. We didn't talk about what he wanted. I had no clue. I was 19. And making this choice. Believe it or not, this is like my ninth take because I keep crying. Oh. But uh, I had to make the choice at 19. And I struggled with it for 10 years. Did I make the right decision? Did I do right by my father? I had nightmares about the decision. Sometimes I did the right thing. Sometimes in my dreams, I didn't do the right thing. And uh, finally, at the age of 29, I put it to bed. I, I, I just, I made my decision. It's done and over with. There's nothing I can do now. Just pray that I made the right choice. I'm not here to tell you whether or not it's the right decision for you. There's many reasons to donate, and there's many reasons not to. You know, if you're looking at the religious aspect of it, Lifeline of Ohio, I think it's lifelineofohio.org. 
they have resources available that will tell you what your belief system believes with organ donation. Um, they're not going to pressure you to do it if, if your faith doesn't doesn't condone it. Um, but the thing is, make the decision and let your family know. Do it. Have that conversation as soon as possible. What your wishes are, because it's tough to make that decision. Let your loved ones know whether or not you want to donate or not to donate. I'm not here to tell you you're right or wrong. I'm just here to tell you make the decision and share it. Make sure you've expressed it clearly. Now, I'm not going to go into the legal implications if you put that little, I donated on your driver's license or not. I mean, obviously, if you donate, that makes your wish. That clearly expresses your wishes right there. But uh, either way, let your family know. And the second part with my dad's experience, they went to go perform the operation for his organs. And as they were preparing for the operation, he took two small breaths on his own. There's a misconception out there that says, you know what, if you have that on your card, on your driver's license, the, the little heart logo that says you're a donor, they're not going to let do what they can to save you. I'm here to tell you that's wrong from my own experience. So my dad, when he took his two breaths, they put him back up into the, to the, to the, uh, put him back up into the critical care unit and he received high quality care from the staff at OSU Medical Center, trauma unit. They did everything they could to preserve his life after he took his breaths. And they ran a complete and thorough series of tests. And my father had passed and that's when they harvested his organs. And from that donation of my father's, I know a young lady was able to live a, a long life and a mother was able to watch her kids grow. I haven't received an update in years, so I don't know if they've passed or not, but I know people live long lives. So if you care about your family, and I'm not saying you don't, I'm just saying, have the discussion immediately of what your wishes are in case they're put in the same situation I was. And don't be afraid to make the decision, whatever decision it is. Just let your loved ones know. Nate, I'm going to wish you the best of luck, my friend. I want to thank you for the opportunity to sharing my story. Um, this is a great cause, and uh, I, I hope a lot of awareness about organ and tissue donation is made. And... Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your run. Thank you.